Tonight on RCV TV, we're going to be taking a look at the Top Box Nano by Kanger. Alright folks, so here we're up close with the Kanger Tech Top Box Nano Purple Edition. I'm going to do a little unboxing, show you what comes included in the kit, show you how to use the different modes on the device, fill a tank, and take a vape on it. So, as usual, really nice packaging from Kanger. Right on the top we've got our device. Now in here we've got our user manual. Got some purple stickers. If you look on the, the back of the device, this is actually a hole. So if you say put a green battery in there or a blue battery and you don't like that poking through there, you can wrap your battery in that purple sticker just so it's all matchy matchy. And we also got the authenticity card or how to check your authenticity. Underneath the flap here, it's another. Warning, a filling and closed top cover immediately. You've got your USB charging cable, got a spare piece of glass, a couple different coils. This one with the black o ring. This is a clapped and a canthal clapped and coil. It's at 0.5 ohm resistance. It's good for 18 to 70 watts. Other one that comes included in the box. This is a 1.5 canthal coil rated for 10 to 26 watts. Let's move all this stuff off to the side. So here we have the device. Got the charging port. Got the up and down buttons. We got the fire button. Obviously your tank. Here's where your battery goes. That just come pops off. It's held on by magnets. I'm going to grab a battery and show you how to install this. As you can see inside the sled, positive side of the battery goes down, negative to the top. That's your positive end on your battery. So we're going to slide that battery in there. Now with these devices, as soon as you throw that battery on, it does power itself on. But with which was... Ugh. Much like most devices, it will just be a quick five clicks off and five clicks on. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Comes back on. So right now it is in wattage mode. This is a temperature control device. So to scroll through the different modes, I'm going to click the fire button three times. One, two, three jumps to nickel, one, two, three, jumps to titanium, and then one, two, three, we're back to power mode. Other features of this, say you want to flip your screen, if you want to hold it in the opposite hand or whatever, you're just going to hold the plus minus buttons down at the same time. It's going to flip around like that. Now to lock your device, you can hold all three of these buttons down at the same time. It's going to flash a few times. Now, it will not adjust on you, but it will fire. So I'm going to unlock that again. It's going to flash a few times. There we go. So now I'm going to get to filling this tank. Just unscrew it. So here's your tank. It is a top fill tank does have a removable 510 drip tip so your standard 510 drip tip will fit in there to get at your coil to prime it to change a coil when it's burnt out you're going to hold the glass and you're going to unscrew the base now this tank does come with a nickel coil installed it is a 0.15 ohm coil good from 15 to 55 watts to 50 watts, sorry. So, much like most tanks, 
coil just screws in and out, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I'm actually going to take this nickel coil out of here and I'm going to throw in that 0.5 ohm Clapton coil. Screw that sucker in there. Today the juice we're going to be filling this tank with is Papa from the River City Vapes signature line. It's a three milligram juice. Priming these coils, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five drops in the very top, and then a big drop on each of the wicking holes on the side. Now, because this is a top fill tank, I'm going to put this coil back in here and show you how to fill it from the top. You do have the option to fill it from the bottom if you're changing your coil. So the top just screws off nice and easy like that. You look in there. Once again, you don't want to get it down that center tube, so we're going to go down the side like most top fill tanks. And there we go. I fill it to just below the top of that center tube. And the top just screws back on. With this tank, it does have an adjustable airflow ring. It does not click into place on different settings, but it does have a nice tension on it, so it will hold your setting really well. So we're going to screw this sucker back on the device. Get this bottle of juice out of the way. And get this sucker set up. So it does say new atomizer, yes or no. Yes, it is a new atomizer, so you hit the plus button. And there we go. We've got it set at 60 watts which is fine. This coil can handle 60 watts, but we're going to need to break it in at a lot lower. Any, anytime you're breaking a brand new coil, you want to start it out at its lowest wattage setting. This is a fairly slow scrolling device, so we're going to scroll her down to 30 watts to start out. As you're vaping through the tank, you can slowly turn that wattage up all right, folks, so we're at 30 watts here. We're going to go up top, have a vape on it, and uh, say our goodbyes. All right, folks, so there you have a quick overview of the features on the Top Box Nano. Let's have a vape. Well, that pop is good. Really decent vape at 30 watts on this guy. Airflow is wide open. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. And as always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, and until next time, make, make smart, smart choices. choices.